You know, it can be quite frustrating when I hear tinnitus cannot be cured. Tinnitus cannot be cured. Whichever way you say the word, I always hear that followed by it cannot be cured. But this is simply not true. And I'm going to challenge that. Today, I'm going to explain to you what I mean by getting rid of tinnitus versus what others might mean about getting rid of tinnitus. Now, for all of you that have stumbled across this video, you're probably dealing with some form of sensation in your ears, whether that be ringing, a pulsing sound, uh, musical instruments going off in your ear, whatever your case may be, it's all going to fall under something that we're going to do here. Now, a lot of you have done your research and some of you are quite bright in this area. You just simply can't figure out how to put the pieces together. You found the puzzle and where it is. Now you need to put them together. Now, I want to explain all of you out there that I suffered with tinnitus as well. I dealt with this pulsing sound in my ear and it didn't seem to go away when I wanted it to. But that was quite why I'm having this video here. Why I'm doing this video is to explain to you that it is possible because I no longer hear tinnitus. Now, the key word here is our awareness. It's hearing something called TRT. That's tinnitus retraining therapy. And that is what is ultimately going to get you over that ringing, that pulsing, that sound. It just seems to keep lingering every time you're in dead silence. You hear this pulsing sound or this ringing sound. And I want to tell all of you out there that if someone like me, very unaware of what was going on at the time when I was dealing with ETD, eustachian tube dysfunction, and tinnitus, and I was able to get through these both of these conditions by just simply putting the ill will into myself of doing a couple of things that are very, very basic that the average high schooler or elementary student can probably master. And that's why I created this video through passion. Now, some of you might be asking, what is it that you have that others don't have that you're about to tell me right now? Uh, quite frankly, what I'm going to tell you is something you probably could have found on Google or just talking to someone that has had it in the grocery store anywhere. It's not very hard to find. The thing that you need to do with tinnitus is you need to train the mind to not hear the sound. Now that sounds very odd. It sounds very elementary. Like I stated, it sounds very elementary school, sounds very common, very basic, but that is really what it boils down to. Now, I just want to do a disclaimer. Now, tinnitus or tinnitus, whichever you're, however you say it, however you all out there say it, now, there are certain circumstances that can be going wrong as well. So I do want to list that. I do want to state that, that if you have inherent loss problems or you have uh, issues with tumor, or you have a tumor or you've been discovered that there's some kind of malfunction in the auditory system prior to this video or prior to researching about it. Of course, I do want to make sure that you do get in touch with an ENT professional just to rule out any problems. But if you've already seen an ENT professional, you've already seen doctors and nurses and specialists and they they it led you to here right now this is what i had to do for myself is one number one thing is stress and anxiety has been proven has been researched and proven to set off sensations in the brain which can equate to ringing of the ear and pulsing sounds it's proven with the increased blood pressure and the cortisol level release and what it does to our auditory system is, it, is not only is it adds inflammation to our ears and the inner ear, it does give off these symptoms of these problems with pulsing sounds and ringing sounds. Now, a lot of you are going to say, well, how can I just get rid of stress? How can I just get rid of anxiety? Well, that's the thing. It's all about being mindful of what you're doing. A lot of times when you find research online or you're doing your research and you're finding information online, a lot of times it's not even new information. It's just being aware and made aware of what you're doing, what you should be doing. And that's why this video is going to be very helpful because it's all the things that you probably already know, but you just simply aren't executing it right. And it's not all your fault. It's something that professionals may need to give you a little boost in that area and need to help you a little bit in that area. So I want to tell you, the first thing is, is you want to, whenever you start hearing the pulsing and the ringing sounds, is you want to dry out those sounds by playing other sounds. Now, when I mean other sounds, not just any sounds, you want to play something in your home that's soothing to your ears, even when you don't hear the pulsing. 
So don't go and blast the radio as high as possible. Now, I, I kid you. Of course, I say things very lighthearted because I know that you're not going to do that. But you want to be sure to turn something on your TV, whether that be uh, rain sounds, natural, natural, earthly sounds, nature sounds, things that are calming to the mind, but also an awareness to the mind. So what I mean by that is you want to play sounds that are of some kind of common noise. You don't want to play something out loud that's uncommon. Like, unfortunately, as I even been told, white noise is one of those things that the brain doesn't interpret that as a common sound. So sometimes that might be beneficial for other people if they're just maybe trying to sleep or trying to relax their body, but we're trying to drown out this pulsing sound and this ringing sound. So I don't recommend white noise. I recommend something that's more uh, some some of your everyday noise, basically soothing everyday noise. Now, of course, you don't want to hear car alarms going off and horns honking and garbage trucks dropping garbage cans. You want something that's going to be soothing, but natural. So that's the first thing. When you hear the pulsing, you hear the ringing, you need to make sure that something's playing in your house that's that's giving off that kind of uh, that, that awareness to the mind. What we're trying to do is to distract the mind from thinking about what's going on in here and more what's going on out there. You do this enough times, your brain, your brain is going to start concentrating less and less and less on that pulsing. Because here's the thing. If you take anyone healthy, anyone with no tinnitus, anyone with no problems with their ears, you place them in a very empty room with no sounds, very well closed off, no light, no anything. And I guarantee you that individual with enough time will start hearing tinnitus as well. It's a natural occurrence of the body in the ear to not to, to hear pulsing sounds and, and ringing sounds, especially if you're not to mention if you're nervous or you just ran a marathon or you just ran in general, or you start hearing this pulsing and this ringing. These are things that the mind and the body and the brain do naturally. But unfortunately, depending on your cer certain circumstance, when it happened to you, you started to key in on that sound too much. Basically, it, you put too much focal point, focal point on that sound. And now your brain interprets it as something valuable to you. And it's going to try to filter out outside noise for you to only hear the pulsing and the ringing and all that because the brain is trying to do its job by giving you the sensations of what you want. But unfortunately, as smart as our brains are, it's not smart enough to understand that that sound is not what we want. And this is not what we need. We don't need that. We need this and we need this. So you have to do your best to retrain your mind and your mind and your body to be on the same playing field. So again, when you hear that sound, have something already going in your house. The other thing is you got to do your best to lower your stress and anxiety. That's not going to help at all. I know it sounds very cliche to say that to you or very simple and simple minded to say that, but we really got to do our absolute best to lower our anxiety because that's going to trigger these other sensations of the body to enact and, and give us these other problems. The other thing is you want to be sure and this is honest. This is the honest truth. You want to be sure that when you start hearing the pulsing sounds, do something to distract yourself. Now you have the sounds playing. Remember, the sounds are playing the natural, the natural sounds. It could even be a TV. Uh, say you like sports. If you like sports, you can have the uh, TV playing at a very decent level. Of course, you don't want to be blasting anything. You can have sports playing if you're a sports person. Uh, if you're in the cooking shows, have someone talking about cooking, have someone talking about something that you enjoy playing on the TV. You're trying to put your brain into another uh, perspective. But again, what I was saying is what you want to do as well is you want to keep your mind and you keep your hands busy, keep your body busy. So if you start hearing the pulsing sounds, don't just stop and key in on those sounds because then all that's going to do is increase the brain's ability to filter out that particular sound and give you more of that. You don't want that. So when you hear it, you want to be doing something else. Go do, it's not fun, but you can do laundry. If you're at home, do laundry, do vacuum, vacuum, do something else. You have to do things to make your brain focus on something else. Again, this is called TRT. When you do this enough times, what happens is you silence the tinnitus. 
You don't cure it, you silence it. That's why when people say it's not a curable, it's not a curable thing. We're not trying to. We would we would rather have it silenced and cured. It. So silencing it and making it be so far in our aware awareness and so under a bunch of layers, we're okay with that. I think all of you can agree that you would much rather have a silent version of tinnitus than tinnitus that's going off like crazy. And that's why I really want to stress there's a difference between curing something and making it not a part of your awareness. So be careful with the articles you read and the testimonies and things that you consume online that give you the sense of, I have no chance. I don't want you to feel that way. I don't, I don't want you to feel like there's no chance of you coming, coming out victorious over all of this stuff. I want you to realize whatever you read on online or you consume content of something you're trying to accomplish for yourself, do it at, do it at face value. Do it at a sense where your particular situation and instances are different than what you read and what you watch. Now, of course, there are those out there that are dealing with tinnitus on a whole different level because they're dealing with hearing loss and other related issues. If you're not in that particular category, then there are there is hope of silencing tinnitus to where it's not a part of your awareness. You will be able to do it. I know I did it. I used to hear the pulsing all day and I finally just made a point to say, I'm, I'm not going to focus on this anymore. I'm going to do things to take my focus off of that. Once you begin to take your focus away from the annoyance of what you're dealing with when it comes to the pulsing, the ringing, the musical sounds in your ear, you will begin to start healing. But the brain is like a giant muscle. It's a giant muscle that has to learn over time, just like a gymnast has to learn where their body is, and the placement of the body is over time. I couldn't go out and be a gymnast right now because I have never practiced to be that. And neither as some of you out there that maybe have never been into it, into that area, your body's not going to just know how to do that. It's going to need practice. So if you don't discover any healing overnight, it's normal. Give your, your body a chance to learn the rhythm of what you're trying to uh, ask it to do. And I guarantee you doing what I told you, told you today here consistently over time, you'll start to find healing and you'll start to silence something we all call tinnitus. I hope this video was very helpful for you. If it was, please take time to subscribe to the channel. I try to bring content as often as possible. But in the meantime, I'm going to step out of the JY in the studio and I'll leave you in good hands with this video. Like anything else, folks, we are here to simply go back to the basics. Take care, everybody.